Jaden Daniels is the NFL MVP, not just the best rookie quarterback, but the MVP of the league. What's good, y'all? This your boy Woke back with another video today. Look, Jaden Daniels, my brother, LSU alum, Black QB faithful, bruh, you are the MVP so far of the NFL. Washington Commanders are three and one, um, leading their division, one of the best records in the NFL, only behind the Minnesota Vikings in their conference. And I just got to say, I knew Jaden Daniels was going to be good. But this is even better than I anticipated this soon. I knew he would hit. I had the Washington Red uh, Commanders sneaking in in a wild card spot. I had them winning a playoff game at minimum. You know what I'm saying? I knew the division was tough. I didn't have them winning the division initially, but I had them making the playoffs, winning at least one playoff game. But man, they exceeded my expectations. You know what I'm saying? People call me crazy for saying what I said. But I'm happy for the brother, man. He's the MVP by far. The Washington Commanders have the best offense in the NFL. Um, leading the NFL in EPA. I mean, the Commanders haven't punted in 16 drives. That's a game and some, y'all. This, this is crazy. I mean, not just that he had that amazing performance, but I didn't do a video about it. I should have did a video about it. Uh, how he cooked the Bengals and, and my boy Joe Burrow and Chase. I mean, that's LSU beauty right there, but he just is going crazy, man. And if you knew his game, the thing you love the most about Jaden Daniels is his decisiveness. When he pass, he pass. When it's time to run, he run. He don't hesitate. He don't second guess himself. And that's beautiful. Most young quarterbacks struggle with that. Some vets still do that. They're decisive. Well, he's decisive and he's amazing. He's leading the NFL in completion percentage over expected. He's leading the NFL in completion percentage. He has the highest completion percentage through four games in NFL history. Let that sink in. The highest completion percentage in NFL history through four games. The other guys, Aaron Rodgers, Peyton Manning, Tom Brady. And all of those guys in the seasons that they had, their 80 plus uh, completion percentage, won MVP. That's just the reality. And the thing I say he won MVP, he's MVP right now is because Washington has the highest offensive EPA with the lowest defensive EPA, meaning their defense is the worst in the league, yet their offense is the best in the league. Him individually has the highest completion percentage over expected, and he's second in EPA per play as a quarterback in the NFL. Over Mahomes, over, over everybody. Only dude that got a little more is Josh Allen. Cause he been kind of bum bashing, but we saw how he looked yesterday versus the Ravens. Jaden Daniels is the guy, and the only loss he had is to the Bucks, who with Ty Bowles' uh, great defense. You saw what they just did to J uh, to Jalen Hurts, my boy Jalen Hurts. Man, they got to bounce back. I mean that line. I mean the damn Bucks defense is serious. As a rookie, you go up in there and he still had a solid game, over two hundred fifty yards of offense, scored a touchdown or two. It wasn't, you know, the, he, he didn't win the game, but to have that kind of defense, the bones of a Super Bowl winning defense as a rookie, and you didn't get blew out, per se. I mean, the game kind of was, it kind of got out of hand at one point, but he played better than what the game looked like. He was solid. He didn't make big mistakes. Rookie game. Ty Bowles usually eat rookies alive, man. But hey, he's still out there, had a solid game to me. So besides that one loss, which is his first game starting, he been amazing. I mean, it is what it is. Um, and people say, oh, what about Sam Darnold? Sam Darnold is in the perfect situation. The Vikings have the perfect tailor-made offense for any quarterback. That's kind of why I was on J.J. McCarthy, too. That offense is the perfect situation. Jordan Jefferson, Addison, Hawkinson coming back still. Great old line, great play calling. Aaron Jones, Toten the Rock. And then now the defense good, too. So, I mean, Sam Darn to me, he is playing well. I'm not going to take that from him, but 
what Jaden Daniels is doing in this situation, which I thought situation wasn't as bad as they said. I'd rather this situation in Chicago's. I trust the Cliff Kingsbury more than Waldron. I like Terry McLaurin. I like Rob, Brian Robinson Jr. I like them boys. So I knew they was going to be straight. O-line ain't the greatest though. Beyond McLaurin, they ain't got too many receivers. Tight ends, huh? But I like the coaching. I like the running back. I like the number one receiver. But this ain't the greatest situation in the world either. He's still doing it though. That's impressive to me. I mean, I think they got a tough little schedule coming up. They got to play like Baltimore. They got to pay. Oh, they got they gonna play the Bears. So Bears fans, get your mind right. He gonna outplay Caleb Williams and beat him. We calling that right now. And of course, they got division games, which I think right now they they win all them games. They already beat the Giants. Um, so Eagles, Cowboys, y'all y'all fumbling. Y'all stumbling. Washington is here. They ready. Their defense play anything, even average ball. They winning 10, 11 games minimum, if not more. So Jaden Daniels, brother, you deserve your flowers. You understand me? I've been following you since you was at Arizona State when you transferred to LSU. I was down with you. You disappointed me a little bit of LSU first season, but you still beat Bama. You competed versus Georgia. Florida State game, that one hurt. But you bounced back, bruh. You played well the rest of the season. You had a legendary season. And I'm happy you landed in Chocolate City. Team culture fits matter, too. That city is meant for a black quarterback. And Washington, you got it, bruh. A good one. So, brother, hold it down. Keep balling out. Keep playing well. I keep hearing Washington may go get a second receiver, too. Um, if they go get Amari Cooper... Uh, Deontay Johnson, uh, DeAndre Hopkins, even though they're not in their primes, I think Cooper and Deontay got a little more juice than Hop right now, but he can still be solid possession receiver. That'd be scary, man. Health um, hold up for him. Who knows? They may be able to get to that NFC Championship game. I could see it. Who else over there? The Bucks, Minnesota, Detroit. Detroit can be had. They struggle versus running quarterbacks. Bucks, I think second go round, Jaden has something for him, and that defense will be better. And then Minnesota, Minnesota probably is the juggernaut right now. They got offense and defense, so we'll have to see about that one. But Washington can make some noise, and Jaden Daniels is your MVP through four weeks without a shot of a doubt. If y'all like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the video. Do you agree? Do you have another person that's MVP currently? Um, also, too, if you're here, check out my second channel, The Woke Wiz. It will be pinned in the chat. If you like Dragon Ball, you're about to play the new Dragon Ball Spark and Zero game. If you like Marvel, DC anime, hop over there. Subscribe to your boy. Check me out. A lot more content dropping over there soon. Trying to grow that channel. But until then, I appreciate y'all. With that one, we say salute.